So coming to uh, another uh, complicated situation, before I start, I must thank Dr. Rajiv Chaudhary, sir, our uh, chief instructor and uh, scientific committee AIUS for allowing me to share my thoughts regarding this subject. The subluxated lens is again one of the challenging situation. Whenever we get these variety of uh, cataracts, they have got a different different uh, degree of zonulolysis from uh, 3 o'clock to 270 and uh, pan zonulolysis cases have also been seen. So let us see a few of the cases. How do we go ahead with these patients and can uh, complete our job with phaco emulsification or the closed chamber surgery? This is what basically we do nowadays in these cases. So these are the different scenarios that uh, you get a different variety of zonulysis and with a different degree of a density of a cataract. So you have to mind both the things, the level of zonulysis or the degree of zonulysis and the density of the cataract. So just a few definitions, subluxated, if it is seen in a pupillary area, dislocated lens means it is not seen in a pupillary area, Acto ectopia lentis is given to a congenital situation. Etiology could be a genetic associated with systemic disorders. It could be associated with a different uh, ocular uh, pathologies and finally it could be a traumatic one. So the problems, what are we going to face with subluxation of these lenses? The extreme of refractive error, the refractive error suddenly changes and patients get uveitic reaction in a secondary glaucoma, and chances of amblyopia in such situation is very high. So management of subluxation, it could be non-surgical. So far, the vision is comfortable in a good range of refractive error, and uh, these patients are to be followed up regularly uh, till they find some problem, and later on, we can go ahead with a surgical uh, management of such uh, patients. The, the indications could be uveitic reaction, secondary glaucoma, changes in a um, uh, uh, subluxated or traumatic uh, lens itself, it becomes a cataractus. And if the refractive error is not being accepted by patient itself. There are some older procedures, but those we are not dealing with nowadays. We are just simply going ahead with the closed chamber phaco surgery, PCI oil implantation, and using the different gadgets or the tools or uh, the, the methods that fix up IOL in the bag or something other so that patient gets a good uh, um, uh, uh, vision uh, correction. Those could be CTR, modified CTR, and a viscodispersive agent plays a great role in such patients. A thorough preoperative examination is uh, very mandatory. You need to assess the level of zonulysis, the defect, whether the vitreous phase is broken or it's in the anterior chamber, angle evolution, fundus examination, particularly of retina, and finally a B scan if pupil is not dilating and you're not able to see the fundus itself. Now coming to a uh, few of the indications of CTR, what it does, it reestablishes the contour of Capsular bag avoids further extension of dialysis, prevent misdirection, irrigating fluid, and stabilizes the IOL in the bag itself. If it is a less than slow phaco, and then you can go ahead, but you can put CTR at any time. What happens when it is more than 90 degree? You can make use of uh, the capsule or the iris retractors, put uh, CTR and the modified CTR, Maybe if you are not able to stabilize the bag, then you can have other options of IOL like iris clip IOL, AC IOL, or scleral fixation IOL. CONE ring can give you the advantage of fixing IOL in the bag. Time of CTR, if I just say, it could be as early as to avoid the complication, and it could be as late as eight, as late as till you can find your surgery is going smooth and you are able to manage the situation. These are the few uh, sizes of uh, 
Moshe's um, uh, Sioni ring, modified Sioni ring, and then coming to few of the surgeries like these two uh, surgeries are running simultaneously. Here we can see in this surgery there is a deficit of zonule here. The viscodispersive agent has been injected, but unfortunately the axis has gone in an area of a loose zonule. So one has to be very careful while dealing with such cases that try to see that your subluxation is not going to increase. You can keep trying with the forcep is an important tool in such cases that gives a good grip to the anterior capsule and you you could be a lucky to I mean say go ahead with the capsular axis. The the important message is try to see the subluxation is not improving, uh, not increasing. Use a viscodispersive agent and the forcep is important tool to complete capsular axis in such patients. Now placing a CTR in such situation here. Um, the, the, the lens is a um, uh, softer one. I mean, so it can be aspirated simply with irrigation aspiration. But try to see and keep an eye on the capsular bag all around, particularly the area of deficit. Whenever there is a fluctuation in the area of deficit, that is a time not to go ahead with the irrigation aspiration. Put a CTR and then you can do the rest of the case. But here, in this case, this, this deficit was more than 90 degrees, so with the hydro dissection, the CTR was implanted in the bag. The CTR goes smoothly and very easily in the periphery of the bag. Even you have seen in this case that this, the, 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 the limb of CTR is being seen here. It is very well placed and uh, stretching the bag to its last extent. Later on, you can complete the case. Now, coming to this situation of a traumatic cataract, uh, you can see a zonulosis in a lower area. I initially thought I might require to put a segment or maybe a modified CNA ring, so made a flap here, a partial thickness flap. And I could judge that, yes, there is a dense fibrosis and then sinicky between the iris and the anterior capsule. Now the capsular axis is being done, but since the capsule, anterior capsule is fibrotic, you may not get uh, a curvilinear tear, then you definitely need to adopt some other method. So this is how uh, one hour Caesar was taken uh, into anterior chamber, the axis was completed. Later on, the iris hook to support the capsular margin so that the fluid should not go inside the zonule there was um, stretched and whatever vitreous was there because it was seen in preoperative examination, the vitreous was taken away from the anterior chamber and the area where it was lying. The important tip here is not to, I mean say, push saline while doing the vitrectomy, the vitreous goes back. And since it was a traumatic cataract, simple irrigation aspiration uh, taken away all the cortical material. I decided initially to implant this three-piece hydrophobic IOL because the haptic, if I wanted to put in an area of zonulosis, I thought it might support it and maybe later on, if I felt, then I could go with the Sioni ring or the segment. The same thing I did, and this is what it got stabilized. The reason of getting stabilized, and I tried to see that IOL is not pushed up anteriorly or no vitreous is coming up. The two-third of the bag was very much fibrous and very much formed and attached with the anterior capsule. So that gives me a satisfaction that this bag is not going to get um, um, subluxated in the future. So I simply didn't put anything. Now coming to this situation of a child, Ectopia lentis, age is around three years. The, the intra um, uh, 25, 25 gauge infusion uh, um, uh, has been uh, put into the vitreous cavity. The excess has been done and all the cortical material has been 
taken away from the cortical bag itself. The empty bag was taken away from the vitrector and the anterior vitrectomy was done. Now this uh, has become a aphakia since it was a it was a child of around three years of age. This I usually do in a practice to implant the exact power of a IOL in a pediatric patient who are below the age of five years, the iris clip IOL, so that amblyopia should not develop. And maybe later at the age of 10 years or 12 years, you can take away this iris clip IOL and implant the appropriate IOL, which is required particularly at that age of a patient with a biometry. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you, Vijay. Uh, meanwhile, I invite Dr. Maipal to speak on the role of femtolaser assisted cataract surgery. Uh, one question, uh, yes, uh, Vijay. Why you are not, uh, you are clipping it is on the anterior side. Why nowadays we are clipping it to the retro fixation? Retro fixation. This is so, a little, uh, this is a real, uh, this was a little older. Older uh, one. Older okay. Okay. So, I, 